What's up YouTube, I'm back with another video. And after finding your maximum undistorted volume from your head unit and worked your way back to your amps, setting your gains correctly with the DD1 Plus, you're now gonna wanna start using the CC1 from SMD. And this is so you can set your crossovers correctly. Um, I know many people can do it with their eye, but as you can see right here, it goes from 120 to three kilohertz. And you, you ain't gonna know at what, um frequency you're at when you set it by eye but with the SMD um, CC1 you're gonna set it um, properly and yeah let's start we're gonna start with the full range right here in the four channel and then the sub end so the first thing you're gonna want to do is remove all your speaker wire As you can see they're all out and on your four channel amp make sure that you're make sure you don't mess with your um gains once you set them so just mess with your crossovers make sure it's at flat as you can see flat flat on your full range if you have one make sure it's at full or flat or whatever option that you have but make sure it's at flat um on your sub amp just make sure your subsonics off and your little pass filter all the way up Okay, so now on your head unit, make sure your EQ is still set to flat, your crossovers are off. And for my 4DS 18s that I have right there, I want them to play at 125 hertz. So that's going to be track 20. And the lowest that they can play is 100, but I'm going to play track 20, so 125 hertz, so it can be safe. I have it on repeat. Track 20 playing, disc A, and... Let's turn on the CC1. Let's turn it on. And your signal light, if it's red, that means it's too much volume. You need to turn it down till you see the green light. And once it's green, you're good to go. So let me turn up my volume. And let's turn it up to 31. There should be green already. As you can see, it's green. Now you're gonna want to hit read, and right there, it's telling me that I should bring it down. So let's switch it to high pass filter right there, and let's start going up. Let's see, once we hit that blue light, that means it's at 125 hertz. So we passed it right about there. That's 125 hertz. And now we got this crossover set. We're gonna go to the four channel and then to the sub amp. So I forgot to mention that, make sure you put your test leads to your positive and your negative. I don't know if you've seen them, but on my, when I was setting the four range, I had them in. Positive, positive, negative to negative. And I'll get back at you at the head unit. I'm gonna do my tweeters. And then we're gonna do my horns. As you can see, my tweeters and my horns. For my tweeters, the lowest that they can play is at 2000 hertz. So I'm gonna leave them at 2.5 kilohertz, track 16. We got track 16 playing there, and I'll repeat. Let's go to the CC1. And you're gonna wanna turn on your CC1. Make sure the green light is on. Put it this, press ready. And on your four channel, make sure it's at high pass filter. Right there. And now we're gonna start adjusting these crossovers. So it's telling me to go down. And as you can see, two point five kilohertz is right there. The blue light is on. Now we're gonna do my horns, which is channel three and four bridged. And I'll get back at you. So now to my horns. Um the lowest frequency they can play is at four hundred. But I'm gonna be safe and put it at four fifty. So we got track one and let's put it on repeat. And let's go to the CC one. Right there, we're gonna hit on. 
the green light is on so we can press read now and make sure your you go set it to your desired crossover so I'm gonna use high pass filter and we get it there and now we're gonna set this crossover it's telling me to go down and right about let's go up let's go up, turn it down right right there that's 400 hertz and yeah we got on um, the four channel done already and now we're gonna do the sub amp so now we're gonna do the crossovers on the sub amp if make sure that your subsonic filter is um, off or if it doesn't have one make sure like mine make sure you turn it all the way down and yeah so the lowest frequency I want my subs to play is at 31 Hertz. So we're going to play right there, track eight. Track eight is playing on repeat. And we're going to set these crossovers right there. We're going to hit on green light is on and we're going to hit read. So it's telling us to go up. So let's go up on a subsonic. And right about there. That's 31 hertz. Now we got the subsonic. We're going to do the high pass, the low pass filter, I mean. And yeah, I'll get back at you. So for the high pass filter. I want my subs to play, let's see, let's say 80 hertz. So we're going to play track 16. Pass that, track 16 right there. And let's go set these crossovers. I'm going to hit on. Green light is on. Let's hit read. And it's saying this to turn it up. And right about right about let's turn it down. To the blue light stays on, right there. So that's 80 hertz, and yeah, that's how you do it. Setting your crossovers with the CC1. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe for more. And see you guys later.